part two. Welcome back. We're going to carry on with the patch notes. Page four. Okay. So, Jin didn't even get touched. Jin didn't even get touched. One, two, one. Expanded the hurt box to leave in situations where attacks would whiff. Oh, does that mean that he doesn't high crush anymore? He doesn't recover crouching. What the? Okay, okay. To be honest, Jim wasn't anything crazy. He was really strong. Um. Yeah, I think it's fair leaving Jim there. I think Jim was anything like. He, he's not like Dragonov and Fengwei level. Let's put it that way. Jim wasn't like those guys. Okay, Jun, I want to see Heat Smash balanced, please. Oh, they're talking about um, recovery health. Like health recoverable health. Recoverable health. Can I speak? Maybe a little bit. Didn't appropriately balance the strength in drawbacks. Therefore, some of the health consumption has been changed to be non-recoverable. Oh, sick. Okay. That's a good change. Well, they're planning to enhance some of the performance of some techniques, so some things that make a uh, unique, I guess. While those Dragonov nerves did fucking nothing. Are you joking, Yusuf? They are huge nerves, dude. Dragonov got nerfed a lot, dude. A lot. You not see all the frame changes? They changed all his frames, dude. Okay. Are we reading the same patch notes? <laughs> okay, right. Moves using Kazama's power. We revised the health consumption rate, adjusting so that some of the consumed health no longer remains as recoverable health. Additionally, when can enter in heat state, we have adjusted to so decreased health consumption only, removing situations where there are absolutely no disadvantages to using it. Oh, okay, so they made it so that you actually have to sacrifice something for using it. Let me reread. Yeah, you should reread it, dude. You're definitely looking at the wrong one. Or you could just wait and I'm going to go through it in a minute. Or, I mean, actually, I've gone through Dragonov, so it's fair for you to go back. You could just go, go back further in the stream. I... I, uh... I save all my VODs, so you can just go back if you want. We covered all of it a minute ago. Um, I'll take back what I said, yeah. I'm telling you, man, they nerfed him a lot, dude. They nerfed him a lot. Right, okay. Oh, they he won't result in uh, self KO. that's fair. Right, Heat Smash. Tracking ability of the second hit has been adjusted to prevent it from tracking opponents who sidestep the first hit. Sick. That's what it always should have been. The amount of health recovered on block has been reduced. Uh, sick. Instances where the move failed to hit consecutively and done from farther away have been alleviated. That's a bug fix. Oh no, I think, I think that should have been intended, man. If you don't space out the uh the move if you don't judge the distance correctly you should sacrifice the second hit being like connecting and being blocked there should be like uh a certain distance man it shouldn't be like across the across the stage like all the way um because it's still even though you can step it you can still like like a junk can still just throw it out from like across the screen it's still 13 frames. It's still 13 frames. Um, but yeah, fair enough. At least we can step it now. At least we can step it. At least there is... And this is the key thing for most moves. At least there's counterplay, right? At least there's counterplay. That's That to me is Tekken. If there's counterplay, it's Tekken. Um, rage Art. Uh... That's just bug fixes, right? There's bug fixes for Rage Art. 
Void 1 plus 2. Um, okay, they buffed. They buffed. Um, Yun. That's a Sabaki. Bug fix. Bug fix. Expanded the hurt box to leaving situations where certain attacks are with. As a bug fix. Well, time to be a Feng player. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's still. Feng's. So far, Feng seems the least touched uh, uh, character. Like, in these patch notes. Like, the least adjusted. Um, bug fix. Up, forward, four, three. I don't know what that is. Cracking ability. Okay, that's for combos. Bug fix. Ah, uh, bug fix. Wait, that's a buff. Health consumption has been reduced. Okay. So Jun didn't really uh get changed that much. Okay. Well at least the heat smash has changed. I think she's still really uh really really solid. Jun's moved up on like the tiers, I think, already, man. She's super super good now. Oh I mean like Fang and Jun. I think Fang so far is still the top character. Uh Kazia, okay. Kazia, down forward three one uh three two one and three to one charge. Hitbox has been adjusted to alleviate instances of hitting targets from areas other than the front. <laughs> How have they reduced the tracking on this combos even more? <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, what? Oh my god, choking. Bro, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Why would they do that, man? This combo is just so bad. This combo is a trash. Okay, down for three plus four. One, two. Issue where this move. Consecutive, consecutively in certain situations has been fixed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I guess apparently that was a bug. Or well, that was the unintended. Void for two. And you're in Devil Four and Void for two and while standing two. Hitbox has been expanded downward, alleviating instances of whiffing for certain moves. Okay, so they actually fixed some kind of hitbox, man. Where's the, where's the down forward one hitbox fix, man? Doing combos with Kazuya is not intended. We out here playing Tekken 2. I know, right? Holy shit. I mean, Misha must, oh, must, must hate Kazuya now. <laughs> like, I don't know why they wouldn't fix something that's like... Doesn't even affect the balance of the character. Just make the combos more consistent. We got like Asasena doing like the most basic three hit strings into the same damage as what Kazuya does. Like as what Kazuya gets for doing like electric, electric, dash jab, dash jab, uh, micro dash, three one, cancel, down forward one fall, into uh, into forward uh, down forward one, down forward two. Sorry bound into forward four into Oki and if he gets the forward four it's like the same damage it's just like a staple as a center combo which has got like three three hit strings in I mean come on man come on I don't want to be I don't want to be that guy but like I know not Kazi I mean I just play him for fun sometimes but like he's so trash his combos are so trash in this game like they need to fix his combos the amount of time I say oh that whiff Oh, that whiff. Oh, that whiffed. Okay. Oh, that whiff. Whenever I play Kazuya, he's kind of comical. Like, he, his hitbox for like his combos are so shit. They're so shit. Um, right, so, King. King Heat Smash. Change the damage from 2044 to 2040. 
Okay. Cool. Great damage adjustment. <laughs> Four damage. Oh, I'm being sarcastic, but at least they changed the damage on that. I mean, it's not very much, but okay. Let's see what else they did. Um, okay. Down one plus two. Okay. So they made him easier to play. Down back one plus two, two. Bug fix. Back three. Bug fix. Jaguar sprint. Bug fix. Approach opponent while running three plus four. Uh, giant swing. And Tijuana twister. Recovery amount of remaining heat time was lower than intended when input quickly, so this was adjusted. Am I talking about heat time? Um, okay. So King actually his heat smash got nerfed by four damage, and that's it. If anything, he got buffed. So he got that, which is a buff in my eyes. And this. So I'm surprised he didn't get any nerfs. I am surprised. Yeah, King's gonna be King's in King King is top content contender for like top five, I guess. Not that like tears really matter, but King is think I think King was a little too strong. Um I mean he is, he is, he is too strong. His Jaguar sprint's really crazy. Even though you can react to Arkeo. It's still crazy because you can cancel it, man. You can cancel it. Lars, okay. Lars is... I, I really hope they revert his Den 3 buff that he got because that was ridiculous. There should be counterplay. There should be counterplay to him. Lars is literally a casino in this game. It's just guess. Guess. He doesn't get much for his low unless he get a, gets a counter hit from Dynamic Entry. Or whatever he gets after Dynamic Entry 3. Like the two option does counter hit launch you though. Uh, so you should be able to step like a couple of options. Like the one that's safe and has got pushback. He should have to commit to uh, 3 plus 4. Anyway, right. Lars Heat Smash. Um, He got increased damage on it. Okay. Oh, box for the second hit when the first one whiffs has been extended downwards. Okay, there's a bug fix. Dynamic entry 3 plus 4. The stabilizing commas, which involves reducing forward movement before your own wall commas. Okay, I don't want to really know what that means. During silent entry two, expanded the hurt box, leaving situations where certain attacks would whiff. Okay. Limited entry one. Bug fix. That's it! Oh. Hey, we can't get everything we want, man. We can't get everything we want. I would have liked to see um, just that one change. Well, that... I say change. I would have liked to just see them revert that change. Uh, the dynamic entry 3. It should be plus... Was it plus 3 before? Yeah, now it's plus 5 and you can't step uh, the 1 option afterwards. You can step the 2 option. Oh, but you can't step the 1 option, which is safe. And he doesn't take huge risk with two. He can parry, but parries aren't that good in this game. And it's minus 12, I think. So, yeah. And the low is a count here launcher as well. Oh, wait. Can you even parry that low? I don't know if you can parry that low. Because it's... You might not even be able to parry that low. Right. Law. Rage Art. Easier to evade with sidesteps than intended. You could sidestep Law's Rage Art. I didn't notice that. Okay, so basically a bug fix. Back 4-3. Back 4-3. Um, that's always going to hit now. While standing 4. Okay, that's a balance adjustment. So you can't like hit confirm 3 plus 4-4 four, four into like crazy damage. Um, like if you're at a wall and you do a wall break, that like, does crazy amounts of damage. 
Okay, so we didn't get... He should have been nerfed. Law should have been nerfed, I think. His wall combo damage is insane. It's insane. Leroy. I'm expecting Leroy to be nerfed off the face of the game. Like, and he's not even playable anymore. He's just like an icon on the character select screen that you can see. But you can't actually play him anymore. <laughs> I'm joking, of course, but... Um, they, like, keep nerfing Leroy. I don't really understand why they keep nerfing him. <laughs> Uh, right. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of buffs. Holy shit, man. Okay, they buffed them a lot. Size up 1 plus 2. New move, Chain Punch. Can now also be performed from standard side steps. Cool. Heat Smash. Damage Change. That's a buff. Rage Drive. Uh, rage, rage Drive? I'm not even in the game anymore. Rage Art. Bug Fix. Uh, change to recover remaining heat time by 60 frames on hit. Okay, that's above. 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, 1. And 1 plus 2, 1. Oh, okay. So, okay, so like fast attacks um, will decrease the amount of heat you lose. Like on average. Like when you're comboing somebody and it, your heat doesn't really change that much. It just starts going down really slowly. Um, or you start getting comboed, for example. Uh, 1, 1, 1 plus 2. Uh, the opponent's recovery time on block has been increased by 4 frames. Wait. Why do they always phrase it like this? The opponent's recovery time... On block has been increased by four frames so what is the frame now what are the frames now i don't know why they don't just say is plus four or minus four on block <laughs> i don't know why they don't do that okay anyway one plus two one plus two recovery time from one plus two has been reduced by four okay Oh, okay. I don't know why he's under behavior. That's literally a. Uh, there's a balance change. There's a buff, buff. A buff. That's okay. Second hit cannot be avoided while crouching when the first hit lands. Oh, it's a jailing. So it's a jailing mid high. That's crazy. Or a jailing high high. I don't know what move that is. Forward 3, 1 plus 2. Okay, so they didn't ask a center with him. Cool. Uh, down forward 1, 1 plus 2. Recovery time reduced by 4 frames. Just, what are the fr I just want to know what the frames are. Then. Um, okay, so we got buffed. Parry. Okay, there's a, more of a buff there, replenishing more of the uh, recoverable gauge. Okay, damage increase. Oh, wall stun on hit now. Damage increase. Uh, that's just a buff. Back three. Damage increase. Frames, better frames. Oh. So it's now, it's now acts like a counter hit, even though it's like, if you get a normal hit, it's like it was on the counter hit. Cool, okay. Down forward, 1, 1 plus 2, 2. I don't know what these moves are. I don't play him. I played him in Tekken 7, but I don't know what these moves are. But I know he's trash. So there's more tracking on this. Tracking capability after successful parry, successful parry has been enhanced. More tracking. Forward movement of the first hit has been increased. And the block has been increased by 7. Okay, so he's got, he's got a ton of buffs, basically. A ton of buffs. Okay, cool. Hall, heat smash, bug fix. Hang on, tracking ability of the second hit has been adjusted to prevent it from tracking opponents who sidestep the first hit. Oh, okay. That's a that's actually a um a nerf. It means that we can sidestep. Uh, the second hit doesn't track. Rainer. Okay, things are getting interesting now. Heat smash. Adjusted the collision and tracking ability to reduce the occurrence of slipping through the opponent at close range. This was an issue. Lower the tracking ability of the first hit 
to prevent the second hit from tracking if the opponent sidesteps the first hit. So they lowered the tracking ability of the first hit, is basically all they're saying. Um, okay, that's fair enough. Damn, I mean, her, her heat smash doesn't track that crazily. So that's, that's, uh, so it doesn't track at all. I guess it's just literally completely linear now. Because they already nerfed the tracking last uh, patch as well. Um, rage drive. Forward movement when forward movement when absorbing an opponent's attack has been increased, alleviating issues of whiffing in certain situations. Um, okay. Good, because Rainer's rage drive sometimes just whiff for no fucking reason. It's really annoying. Especially against uh, characters that have like a sidestep move. Like a sidestep built into the move. Like Brian's forward forward four. Paul's like sidestep shoulder thingy that he does. Yeah, a lot of time the rage drive would whiff. Uh, the rage art would whiff. I keep calling it a rage drive. Down forward four two three, and back four. Okay. Oh shit! The collision detection with the opponent has been adjusted to mitigate situations where certain counter attacks would whiff when evading by crouching. Oh, okay. I didn't even notice the thing. Okay, it's a bug fix, though. So, Reyna didn't even get changed at all. I was expecting to see count, uh, forward forward 2 nerfs, or maybe the frames on 112 on here. Maybe they've changed those. Interesting. Okay. I think they should have uh, maybe reduced the tracking on forward forward 2, and um, maybe made 112 not plus 11. Maybe like, I don't know, plus six, something like that, or plus five even. And also they should have increased the uh, frames for forward forward two, make it like what, like 15 frames start up, I think. Or maybe 14 frames. Nah, 15 frames. I think that would have been a good, ch uh, good change because she's a character that's, um, her like one big weakness is that hardly any of her moves uh that she steps she, you step her to the left right she's like a classic mishima in the sense you step her to the left um but with void void 2 they gave her a 12 frame plus on block basically homing if you just delay the second forward a tiny bit um they made it so you got a plus on block mid homing uh like into stance pressure there's 12 frames uh, so yeah, I was expecting to see that change. I think they should have maybe nerfed Void Void 2 a bit. I think it would have made her a little more interesting. She is already very already very interesting, but I think it would have made her even more interesting. Uh, Steve. Heat Smash. So increased damage. Rage Drive. Bug Fix. 1 plus 2. Bug Fix. Recovery time inflicted on opponent on hit has been increased by one frame. This change was made considering that opponent's power crush made it easier to defend against pressure from Lion. Ah, right. Okay. So now, Steve actually gets a mix up. A mix up. Steve actually gets a mix up now. With his lion, uh, with his lion heart stance. Sick. Sick. I still need to. I still need to play Steve. I never even played Steve yet. Um, yeah, this is definitely something he needed, I think. Now, that Lionheart stance was, like, it's almost useless in this game. It's not It's not very good. There is, like, a crazy cancel you can do from Lionheart, like, in those situations. I think you just, um... Do you duck? Do you duck, then hold down forward and then back? I can't remember what the input is. I've done it a couple of times in practice mode. I think you do forward three, then hold down forward and then back, right? I think that's what you do. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't actually know. I can't remember the input. Um, but it's really hard to do. Like, especially in a match, it's really hard to do. It's good they changed that. Up forward two. That's just his like overhead jumping. Uh, like it's orbital, basically. It's a very slow orbital. Forward movement been increased to extend the reach of the attack. Nice. Okay. I don't know if that's actually a good idea though. I mean, you can do up to right. Yeah, okay, that's a, that is a buff. That is a buff. That is a buff. While standing, uh, one one. Okay. 
Apparently, can unnaturally quickly crouch to evade the subsequent attack. Okay, so that's a buff, really. Uh, during spin, issue where peekaboo was inadvertently deactivated under certain, certain conditions has been fixed. Nice bug fix. Uh, that's his like Gatling Rush type attack. It's like gut punches. Um, start up with the seventh hit was adjusted to match the animation. Sometimes the combos were with. Yeah, I noticed that as well. Uh, when other people are playing him. Uh, Lionheart. Oh shit, the unintended ability to transition into peekaboo. Or ducking in. Uh, ducking in direct. During heat, through specific inputs, has been corrected. Oh, okay. So they didn't let a, they didn't let the Steve players keep it. They didn't let them keep it. Oh no, they're gonna be disappointed, man. I'm disappointed for them. That was a cool little like skill ceiling. That was a cool skill thing for Steve players, man. So what I was talking about a minute ago with the power crush and the Lionheart thing. The only way you could evade power crush in certain circumstances, because you can't cancel out the, you couldn't cancel out the stance, was they did this cancel, this cancel right here. You would transition into peekaboo, and uh, then you would be able to duck. You, then you'd be able to duck cancel out of that, like press down back, and then back to block. You'd have to do it really, really quickly, uh, so you would evade the. Um, you would evade the uh, the power crush actually hitting you, and then you could punish the power crush. I mean, they fix. I guess they. It's fair they fixed that because um, they added <laughs> like one frame of recovery times to your opponents when you do these attacks. Uh, but to be honest, I don't know why they hate Steve so much. Like that's that was cool, man. That was cool. I don't know why they changed that. It was sick. I'm playing so often, Steve, but this input in to go into Peekaboo is so hard. It's yeah, it's crazy. I don't know how you guys do it in actual games. It's, uh, but Peekaboo is so hard. yeah. I, I don't know why they taken this away. I think it sucks for you guys, but I mean they're the they're the bosses, right? Uh, during Lionheart, one plus two. Start up with the, start up with the attack and change from twenty to twenty one frames to eighteen to nineteen frames. The behavior of the opponent on the hit has been modified to enable potential error commas. Okay, that's that's a good buff. I mean, I think Steve could have got some more buffs, really. I mean, they changed a lot of bugs. There's bug fixes, and now Lionheart's kind of viable. I don't even know if one frame really makes a difference, to be honest. But uh, yeah, you Steve players out there, let me know if that actually makes a difference for you guys. I hope it does, because Steve is cool to watch, but whenever I play against a Steve, like, they have to try so much harder than me, man. Forget anything. But the character's... He's very weak. Not that it should matter, like, if you're having fun like, with a character, but if he's, like, really, really weak compared to everybody else, it's not always going to be, like, fun, you know? Um, if you have to, like, try three times as hard. Um, so, yeah, I hope that you guys got some much-needed bug fixes, and uh, I hope you guys got some much-needed balance changes. Uh, maybe not enough. Maybe I'll try Steve and I'll be able to see myself. Last page. <laughs> Last page. We're here. Right, I'm expecting Hypnotist. Before I look at these, I'm expecting Hypnotist, the three, to be at least like minus 14. Shall you? Offensive capabilities were enhanced during heat, compensating for the usually lacking offensive aspect. Dominance of a hypnotist mix-up game. Slight adjustments were made to temper these aspects. Good, okay. Well, that's a good sign. During heat, that forward 2-1-2. Two, two, that's that crazy string that goes into hypnotist, isn't it? Damage has been changed from 22 to 20. Position of the attack hitbox has been adjusted to prevent attacks from hitting opponents from behind during an ukemi. Okay, she doesn't get the oki anymore. The opponent's state when blocking has been changed from crouching to standing. Sick. Okay, that's good. Because she used to do this, right? And then go into hypnotist, right? Isn't this the move? Where she like jumps and then jumps down, hits you down, and you, you'd recover crouching. 
And then you have to wait to get up and then take the mix up from Hypnotist, whether it was the safe mid or the minus 12 homing low that launches. <laughs> um, okay, that's good. That's good. During heat, unintended setting of jump status after the attack the correctly. Ooh. Sorry guys, I'm fucking tired. Um okay, that's heat smash, right? Uh forward three. Um okay, she got buffed. The forward movement before the attack and the hitbox size have been increased primarily to stabilize behavior when used in aerial combos. Okay, that's just combo buff. Why did she get a combo buff? The combos are insane. Um up back four. Change the damage from 26 to 20. Okay. Damage change. What's our back for? Oh, that'll be the tornado, right? That'll be the tornado. I'm guessing. While standing two. Buff. Recovery time reduced by one frame. Okay. Okay. Um, back facing opponent. One, two. Tracking. Oh, so they gave him more tracking. Okay. Gave him more tracking. Right. Hypnotist 2. Balance. Low. Consumption of remaining heat time has been changed from... Okay, so she doesn't, she doesn't keep as much heat doing this. Um, and Hypnotist 3. Her box has been expanded to make it easier to... Her box has been expanded to make it easier to land, even with high thing attack. Oh, okay, right. So she doesn't just evade like a hop kick as she like goes down to do like the uh, the sweeping low. And now it's minus thirteen. Okay, so at least it's minus thirteen. At least it's minus thirteen. But um, I expected more. I don't know how that's gonna how this uh up forward up back four is gonna change the damage to her combos. I don't know. I really don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But I'm hoping that her combo damage has been reduced like a lot. Because I said overwhelming combo damage and dominance for hypnotist mix up. So they're addressing it there. I mean at least it's minus thirteen, right? At least it's not a minus 12 homing low launcher. Unseeable. Um, but to be honest, it should be launch punishable, let's be honest. Like, I think Hypnosis 3 should just be launch punishable. Uh, special style, I don't care about special style. Um, but overall, to wrap up, uh, I'm, I'm happy actually. There are some things that I wanted that weren't in here, but you can't always get what you want. Um... I think they're taking the right approach and they're toning down like the really OP characters like Dragonov. Fen could have seen some more nerfs, I gotta say. Uh, Fen could have seen some more. Um, but they are most certainly leaping into the right direction. Like they, they've heard us, I think, and they're actually listening and, um, you know, they're taking act action. Disappointed that homing throws is still in the game. I really think they should just go. I think it defeats the point of trying to step. Um, a lot of moves. There is a, there's a lot of good stuff in here, uh, but there's there's also is quite a lot that wasn't in here. But this is this is a huge patch. This is a very major patch. Um, a lot of stuff got changed. A lot of characters got buffed. Actually, most characters got nerfed. Some characters got buffed. Quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of nerfs. And I'm glad there were more nerfs and buffs. We like, I think everybody was afraid uh, that because of the wording and what they said before that they were just gonna buff all like the low tiers and mid tiers up to the level of the high tiers. But then, so then every character that you go up against is basically Dragonov and Feng. With crazy 50-50s, crazy like safe 50-50 options. Basically just everyone be playing Casino Tekken all day long. 
But yeah, overall, I'm actually pretty happy. Even though I didn't get everything I wanted, there was, like, personally, um, there was a lot of stuff that was uh, that was definitely needed in this uh, in this patch. I'm excited to play the game when we actually get the patch. I actually kind of can't wait. Um, and also, I'm excited to play some of those characters like Dragonov when he actually gets toned down. I think it'd be more interesting to play. Um, he'll be way more interesting to play. Uh, play as and against um, and actually have some counterplay so anyway yeah hope you enjoy guys um, and uh, yeah I will see you next time take it easy guys much love peace